Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unmanned, DJI introduces the Matrice 300 RTK and Zen Muse H20. Parrot supports Human Rights Watch and Volanti introduces the Bali M20 UAS. Welcome to Aero News Network's Airborne Unmanned, a weekly news program covering all things unmanned in partnership with AUVSI, the Association for Unmanned Vehicle Systems International. I'm Sophie Herlock. DJI unveiled what they called their most advanced commercial drone platform, the Matrice 300 RTK and the Zen Muse H20 series, a hybrid multi-sensor camera. The M300 RTK integrates advanced AI capabilities six directional sensing and positioning systems, a UAV health management system, and 55 minutes of flight time. It can support up to three payloads simultaneously and has a maximum payload capacity of up to 2.7 kilograms. Combined, the M300 RTK and Zen Muse H20 series solution offers users two intelligent ways to collect data through smart pin and track, a set of intelligent functions that enhance synchronization of aerial intelligence and coordinated missions, or through smart inspection, a new set of features developed to optimize routine data collection missions. The drone features a primary flight display that merges real-time flight and navigation data into one integrated display. Besides standard telemetry data, the M300 RTK PFD provides obstacle data for visualizing nearby obstacles during flight, enabling pilots to adjust flight trajectory if needed. And now let's take a quick look at news making rounds of the unmanned vehicle communities. It's time for today's Unmanned Minute. In an effort to get people familiar with the concept of drone based deliveries, Dive Delivery has secured confirmation of permission from the FAA to perform drone deliveries under existing Part 107 rules and regulations. Dive Delivery will use off-the-shelf drones, equipped with drop mechanisms to conduct visual line-of-sight deliveries of face masks and other lightweight items to residential backyards. Residents of San Mateo and Contra Costa counties in California can now sign up to participate in the trials. Wing Copter was announced as the emergency delivery category winner of the 2020 African Drone Forms Flying Competition. The form took place back in February in Rwanda and was the first of its kind for the country, showcasing the advances in autonomous drone delivery. On top of this honor, Wing Copter also received a special award for its safety procedures and 65,000 pounds in prize money. The U.S. Navy, with support from Northrop Grumman Corporation, has begun flight testing of the MQ-8C Fire Scout equipped with the Leonardo ANZPY-8 radar. Operating out of Webster Outlying Field, the MQ-8C's first flight with the radar occurred back on February 27th. Testing began with several weeks of ground tests prior to the first flight and continues to progress as the Navy and Northrop Grumman consider mission expansion opportunities for the platform. To date, Northrop Grumman has delivered 32 of 38 MQCs to the Navy, all of which will be retrofit with the ANZPY-8 radar. The FAA announced Airbus, AirMap, Amazon, Intel, OneSky, Skyword, T-Mobile, and Wing will assess the federal government in establishing requirements for future suppliers of remote ID. These companies were selected through a request for information process in December of 2018. This initial group will support the FAA in developing technology requirements for companies to develop applications needed for remote ID, which will provide drone identification and location information to authorities while in flight. We'll be right back with the rest of the news. Affordable and economical, Pipistrol is proud to present the Alpha Trainer, offering excellent fuel efficiency and a durable composite design the Alpha Trainer can be operated from virtually anywhere. Whether you're a first-time aircraft owner, assembling a fleet, or running a flight school, the LightSport Alpha Trainer from Pipistrel is a dynamic option. Learn more about what the Pipistrel Alpha Trainer can do for you at pipistrel-usa.com. Like most of you, we're still working from home. We miss being around pilots. But the most important thing right now is to mitigate your risks and use this time productively while we all get through this. Folks, King Schools is open and we're 100% operational. We're making sure that your courses work and are available for you 24 seven. 
We look forward to the time when we can see you again at the airport. Parrot is providing its ANAFI drones, advanced software, and technical support to Human Rights Watch to help support their mission of investigating human rights abuses. Most recently, Parrot provided ANAFI drones to aid in the organization's investigation into ISIS atrocities in northern Syria. The UAS helped capture aerial imagery and 3D data of the Al Hoda Gorge, which is a suspected mass gravesite used by ISIS. Due to the dangerous terrain and steep cliffs, drones were the safest way to capture imagery at the bottom of the gorge. Using data captured by the UAS, a 3D topographical model of the Al Hoda Gorge was created with the software Pix 4D Mapper. These 3D maps may be used to further investigate below the surface of the water. Valencia Incorporated announced the launch of its newest UAS, the Volley M20. Described as a new generation of dual-roll aircraft, the UAS provides customers with the ability to simultaneously carry 20 pounds of cargo and a 10-pound ISR or sensor pay load. The UAS is designed to meet the exacting requirements of commercial customers that operate in remote maritime locations as well as military customers who require a flexible vehicle for resupply and ISR applications. Volley M20 has a 350-mile range, cruising at 75 miles an hour, and more than 8 hours of endurance for sensor operations. The drone utilizes a hybrid flight system that combines electric vertical takeoff and landing with a fixed-wing pusher-driven forward flight mode. It can be configured with the customer's choice of highly reliable heavy fuel or gasoline engines. And that wraps up our show for today. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and check us out on Facebook and on Twitter. For more information on the innovative world of all things unmanned, head over to auvsi.org and airborne-unmanned.net. I hope you have a great rest of your day and I'll see you tomorrow.